go high level wizard here and now i'm going to be showing you how to set up an e-commerce store inside of go high level okay before we jump in though go right down below smash that subscribe button if you have any questions drop a comment down below so we're going to jump literally right in we're just going right to it we're going to click sites and then we're going to click websites for this to work you have to have a website i will link my full tutorial on websites at the end of this video if you do not have a website, you got to have a website for this to work. The way this works is a little different than Shopify. These are platforms where you build an e-commerce website with high level. You can add an e-commerce store to any website. You can turn any website you want into an e-commerce store. It's so easy. It's so powerful. So again, you have to have a website already set up for this to work. Let me walk you through how this process goes. So you click into the website you have. Again, you're not building the e-commerce site. You just add the elements to the website. We're going to click this right here. High level makes this so easy. I just love that they do this because it saves so much time. You can have an e-commerce store built so quickly. So you're going to come right into the store you want. All you're going to do is click add elements, come right down to store, and you'll see this right here. All you're going to do is click add to site, and it's going to add an e-commerce element and turn your site into an e-commerce store. Check it out. Just click it. And boom, look at that. You now have the e-commerce elements to your store. And if we go back and okay, look at your website, you're going to see you have these pages added. So you're going to get a products list page added, a products details, a cart, a checkout, and a thank you. Immediately, just two clicks. Everything has been plugged in immediately. And again, you can change any website into an e-commerce store. How easy is that? Now that we have this, we have to create products and completely set this up so you're ready to start selling online. ASAP. And it's pretty cool because you can also see on the homepage, the cart has already been added to the menu. So you can immediately just pop in and go, oh, sweet. There's my checkout cart. And you can see all the items you're about to buy. So now that we have this, we have to add products. This is a very important part. If you don't have products already in place, please watch this because this is the most important part. We're going to come right to payments. And we're going to come right into products and we're going to click this. We have to have products in order for the store to work and they'll immediately add it. So the first thing we we'll do is we're going to click create product. Just follow along very simply with me. So first things first, we've got to have this on. This is what's going to plug it into the online store. Make sure this is on. We're going to put our product in. So put the name of your product right there. Put the description. We're going to do blue tea shirt. Put whatever you want. Pick a media file. This is the image of the product, put that right there, okay? Go through here, product collection. I'm gonna go over this in a sec, but these are just best of products. So if it's t-shirts, that would be under the collection of t-shirts. If it's toothbrushes, it would be under the collection of toothbrushes. And then there's different kinds of toothbrushes, but we'll go over that in a second. For all the tax stuff, I'm not sure what you're doing with that. I'm not gonna go into that. You should ask your CPA, every business is different, but just look at what you have to do for taxes. Plug that in, do your due dillies right there. And then right here, it's gonna come to the price. So you have one time or recurring. For a t-shirt, it's going to be one time. So we're going to click this, and then we're just going to add a price. So we'll do $15, and then we have compare at price. So this is a price anchor. It'll say, originally, $25, striked out, now 15 Very important. You want to have this great sales thing. So we're going to do 25 and then we're going to come down to variance. This is all the different options. So what sizes, what colors of one product. So you may have multiple different colors of a toothbrush, multiple different sizes, multiple different batteries, whatever. These are where the variants are added. So we're going to come right in here. We're going to click add variant and we're going to add the variant. So first is the variant name, which for us is going to be size. For you, size, color, battery, whatever. And then we're just going to add them like this. So we're going to do small, small, medium, large. And we're going to click done. You'll see right here, it'll have all the prices. So what we can do is we can bump up the prices depending on how much it costs. So if you're doing a bigger t-shirt, you may want to add bigger prices. We'll just do 16, 17. That way you can see what's going on and you can bump it up. Quick recap, make sure you do this. Make sure this is toggled on. You put your name, your title in, you put your description, you add your image collection. We'll go over that in a sec. Any sort of tax stuff, any sort of variance, which we just walk through. And then you have basic SEO stuff, which you don't need to do now for an e-commerce store. And then we just click save. Simple as that. And now your product has been created. But now I want to show you something really important. So when we go back, we come back to sites and we go back to websites. We click the website that we created. We come right down to products list and we're going to view it. It now has the t-shirt. How cool is that? And if we click in the t-shirt, we now can see small, 
medium, large, and those are the variants. How cool is that? Looks really nice and everything. And right here, that is the strike through. So it's 40% off. Ooh, sales incentive makes people buy. So if you're, you have an e-commerce when you're trying to make more money, you want to put that on because it's more dollars in your pocket. This is something I just want to let you know of because it can get kind of weird. A lot of people get very confused on this. I'm just going to go over this before we move on. And it's just something to be aware of. If we click this and we do edit in new tab, I want to show you something really important. We're going to click preview link. It doesn't pre-populate your products in the editor. See in the live thing, like right here, how cool is that? We have it, but in here, you'll see it'll just be the regular products list from high level, not this. So I'm going to show you what I mean. You have this right here, and then you have this. This is always going to be like this. Just remember, so I have a lot of people freak out. Like, Where are my products? They're all right here. It's just on the default products list, it's always going to be these random pictures. You have to click the eyeball up here and view it to get the full thing. Just want to make sure you understand that a little, little pro tip. So really at this point, now that you know how to create a product, you just want to add all of your products into your store. So however long it takes you, go in, add all the products, have them all there, make that products page look good. From there, we're then going to move on to the second part, which is very important, which is configuring your entire site properly so it looks good because there's a couple of things we're going to want to change here. Very quick changes. So now we come in here and we're going to pull up both the home page and the products page. So as you see in the products pages, all of these pages have this menu. We don't want this menu. We want to have the menu we have. And you might be like, oh no, we have to recreate this. No, you don't. We can just immediately add it very simple, very straightforward, so it looks much better. All we need to do is add this menu in. But the first thing we want to do before that is have your store properly in the menu. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to come right in here, follow along right here. We're going to click store. Because remember, that's the shopping cart, not the store. We're going to go to page and the page is going to be the product list. So we're going to submit and we're going to have it on the store. Very, very important. Make sure you come up here. We save and it's a global section and we publish. That way we now have this fully configured, which I'm going to show you right now. We come right up here and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Store. So I click store. Voila, it comes to the store. But the problem is that you're like, oh, what do I do now? You're like, oh, this menu is so ugly. We want to come back here and make this menu on all the other pages. By default, on these pages, it's going to have this really ugly, bland menu. So what we're going to do here is come right in here. Now that we have our store properly configured, we're going to click this right here. And the way we do this is by having this added. So this should already be a global section. If it's not, you're going to come right here to this purple. You're going to click this. Name of section, you're going to do global header. It should already be added. Just showing you how if you don't. And then we just add this to all the pages. So we come right in here. We click this green arrow. We come right here to global sections. And then we just click header. And we're going to drag this right in here. And boom. How cool is that? Now we have the header that's already done. Check that out. Store. So when we view this, it now has that store page. So how easy was that? You're just going in and you're adding this as part of the header. Boom. There we go. It's now in. So now what you need to do is you need to come to all these pages and make sure you add that. So again, we made that header global. We put the store in it so it's connected. And now we just got to go to all these pages and add it. That's why we want to customize this so it all looks good. So I'm going to do one more time. Follow along with me. Build along with me. And then we'll be good to go. And you want to add it to all those pages. So we come right here. We click the plus. We go right here to global sections. We pull the header out. We drop it right there, just like that. We delete, we have the store and we click save. This now will have it on this page as well. And the whole goal is to immediately come through and do this for every step of the way. So if we click this, it's now gonna lead us to this. We click small, we add to cart, we do checkout. Boom, but now we don't have it. So that's where it comes in to make sure on every one of these pages, you add, this thing is so annoying. We add these headers so it looks uniform. It's that easy. You do this for every single page and then you're done. The site is finished. Like you walk through it and you're done. There's nothing else you need to do. You just go through, make sure it all looks uniform, make sure your stripes connected and go through the process of clicking the shopping cart, clicking store and just following it A to Z and be like, oh, we need to fix that header, fix that header, stripes connected and you're good to go. It's as simple as 
that. Now that you understand that, I want to go over a couple last things you need to know so this all makes sense. We then need to come into products. So once you have your products built out, you can add them to collections. So a collection is just a grouping of products. So you could have t-shirts and the collection would be cotton t-shirts, polyester t-shirts, blue t-shirts, white. It's basically a collection of one thing that has extra stuff. So all you do is create collection. We'll do cotton tees, and then you just add the image you want. We'll just click these right here. Anytime you have products, let's go right into this. Let's edit this. I want to show you how you can add it. We come right in here. We search. We go cotton tee. We save, and it's now part of the collection. And this is really important because your collections will hold different groupings of things. So just make sure you know that. Inventory, very important. This is just the actual quantity of inventory you have. I don't know what you're selling, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrushes, whatever. You're going to want to put the quantity because if you're shipping stuff out, you have to have a quantity. And this right here, you saw us earlier, continue selling when out of stock. This is just a way to create extreme demand for your product. So it'll just keep selling. And then you got to figure out a way to fulfill. Then last but not least, we have reviews. This is just reviews on a product. So if we go to Amazon, it's this exact thing here. That's all it is, is people leaving reviews for a product. That way in here, you see like, oh, did people like your t-shirts? Did people not? And it's just a cool way to kind of rate that. Then at the final point, we have the basic settings. So receipts are going to want to make sure this is on. This is going to send them emails, letting them know, here's your receipt for buying a t-shirt. Taxes, that's between you, your CPA, and the government. Notifications, this is just going to be all the notifications on what you're doing. So let's say someone buys it, goes, hey, you just bought so-and-so, here's a free link to review it, or here's an order confirmation email. This is where you're going to configure the notifications. It's very important. Make sure you do that. Shipping origin is where you're going to plug in how your shipping works, who, who you're shipping to, UPS, Postal, how that whole process works. That's between you and your suppliers and everything. That's where you'll configure it with shipping zones. That way, if you're actually selling tangible product, it can just ship out simple as that. And then basic subscriptions is, is more if you have subscriptions on your e-commerce site. Like Amazon Prime is a subscription, but you get to shop. You can just set that up in Stripe just as easy. But the settings are where you want to go to configure the little odds and ends. So make sure you go in and do that if you haven't done that already, because that's going to help tremendously. So that's it in a nutshell. That's e-commerce. What I highly recommend is if you do not understand how the web design part of this works, I'm going to link a video at the end of this video to my website video, which is so in-depth. It's the best video on YouTube by far on this topic. So please watch it if you're like, I have no clue how this works because that's going to get you more in depth. If you are interested in learning high level, I have a potential partnership for you where you'll get access to me, snapshots, goodies, community, students, live streams every week, trainings on how to learn high level, trainings on how to sell high level, the whole nine yards and even potential clients if you do a good job. So if you're interested in high level and you need help, check that out. And again, it's free. F-R-E-E. -E. The partnership is for you just got to have high level. So please check that out on my channel, but I'm gonna link this website video so you can exactly understand how to do this. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions at all, drop a comment down below. You know where to get a hold of me. And as always, go high level wizard.